All right, so my brother-in-law's dropped off a Samsung monitor to me, and uh, it's broken. Doesn't go. So this is the power supply out of it, which wasn't that hard to get out. It took me about five minutes, I think, to get it out. And um, I've done some testing. The fuses here were fine. Nothing wrong with them. Capacitors look fine. I can't see any bulging or any signs of leaks or anything like that. There's no burnt traces. Um, it's all fine. The under here looks fine. I can't see anything wrong. The only thing I have noticed is it's got this um, horrible adhesive, which I've seen in CVs, which um, when it gets old or gets hot, discolors much like this, or these ones, and then they short out, and then they, you know, tend to have problems. So I'm going to go around and take take all this adhesive off, and um, see if that will fix anything or. See if it changes. I mean, I don't even know if it's. I haven't tried it myself. I just pulled it apart. So, um, but physically, I can't see anything wrong with this particular power supply board. So I'm gonna try and get this adhesive off. So after failing to uh, find a problem with this thing, well, nothing obvious anyway. I've uh, re resorted to searching online, and I quickly came across results stating stating that some resistors, which happened to be these ones here, which had that gunk on them. Um, are prone to failure. So I thought, okay, well, let's check that out. So let's measure them. So we've already got the meter set up, ready to go. Let's see what we get. This one here. Okay, 68 ohms, that's what it's supposed to be. Next one here, all supposed to be the same value. 68, that's all right. Here's the other one. The other one's there. Ah, that's not 68 ohms, is it? That one's open circuit. Because the symptom on this is that the, well, I'll give you a bit of more information first. It's a Samsung Sync Master 245B, and uh, you do that search for that, and you, this problem comes up quite readily. And um, it's usually things like blown capacitors and, and what have you, but so the caps on this look okay. Um, and mentioned about these, resist these resistors, so this one here in this case is, is what's gone, this open circuit. So I believe what happens is the capacitors go, they short out or something, and then it affects the circuit, then blows these resistors. Or maybe they're just because they were glued together like that and you got that glue on there, that's made them fail. So I need to find a 68 ohm capacitor, uh, resistor. So let's have a really close look at this capacity. I just noticed that the base of it, the bottom, you can see it there. Let's get a pointer. Um, hopefully you can see it there. But there's a, the bottom of it is right there. The uh, she thing isn't over it, which means it is actually blown. It's been pushed upwards. The venting on the top hasn't gone. So it looks like it needs recapping too. So that's probably what caused it to go in the first place. So there's the capacitors pulled out, you can see the bottom is uh, extended out, just there. Hopefully you can get the thing to focus, there you go. So that's not meant to be like that. Right, I think it's fixed. Check it out. Ta-da! It's on. All good. Remember to subscribe, catch you later.